going to show you a really cute, eco-friendly and very cost-effective way to organise and make to store your accessories, whether they be your earrings, your bracelets or your necklace, none of which are hugely wearing today at the moment. So I'm going to show you what you'll need, how you'll use those items and what you'll get as a result. But I will show you a quick sneak peek of what we will be making. Now again, you don't have to use these colours or this type of fabric, etc. As I do explain, this is just what I had on hand for this particular video. So we've got some greys in here, some whites, and some blue. I would definitely recommend if you're more of a pink girl, if you're more of a neutral kind of person, obviously use the colours that you wish to. Um, I just tried to use colours that would stand out and kind of show you um, the different techniques, etc., etc., that you can use to make an egg carton into an accessory holder. So. Please watch, if you like the video, sum it up, if you have any questions or requests or anything, you can comment in the video on the description screen below, there will also be a link to my blog where you can check out the blog for this as well. So, happy viewing everyone, bye! First of all, as you can see, I haven't done anything to this particular egg carton, except I have snipped away all of the siding, or like the little case, the top part, and Basically, we have remaining is the bottom. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, which is an egg holder. You can obviously make a small one or a large one. Next thing we want to do is have staples. And of course, staples only because you never know how many staples you may or may not need. Scissors, of course. So you can use any particular fabric, but for this tutorial, I'm using something that I already had, which is just an old shirt. And basically, it was a turtleneck shirt. And it did not fit very well over my head. So that's that. And we just have some jewelry existing that I wanted to organise a little better than already um, than it is already. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do apart from obviously have all this stuff ready on hand is to measure out how much of your particular fabric you are going to need to obviously encase this egg carton. So I'm going to go ahead now and do that for you. And when I come back, I will have a section cut out that obviously I'm going to use for this particular class project. Now, if you are feeling extra crafty, you can take some double-sided sticky tape, which, um, in all honesty, the staples that I'm using in this video, I would highly recommend using like a hot glue gun if you have one, or this to begin with. But this is just to show you what you can use that you may already have just laying around. So I'm going to take some double-sided sticky tape, which you can get from Artisan Craft Stores. Um, I got mine for my scrapbooking that I do. And I'm just using some old scrap ribbon that I have. It's some, like a lacy. And I'm also combining it with this pink uh, <laughs> glue. Um, like more of a sparkly kind of thing to accentuate around the edges. So I'm going to go ahead now and line this around the edge of my egg carton. And then I will also then line the inner of my egg carton with this glue thing. So you'll see that really quickly, but I'll go do that now in real life mode.
So for an extra little dazzle, I would um, usually swap the fabrics that I have. This is obviously just a tutorial to show you what you can do um, on the hand and all this. But what I would do for an extra little um, dazzle up of this would be to just take some string, so I'll just use um, a needle, um, needling thread, sorry, and go through here in this section in here. So just to pull the fabric tighter, so obviously you get more of a fit from the fabric to the actual egg carton. But for now, I mean, this works just as well. This is something that you can add on later if you like. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the shot of me just putting some random accessories on, just so you can obviously see how it works. Um, and once again, just because it is an egg carton, once you put the fabric in, you don't actually have to stick to this earring. I've actually put some necklaces in, you can put some bracelets in. It's obviously up to you. Um, and the more you collect, the more uh, fabric you can use to obviously show off your beautiful creation. It's up to you. This is obviously just some guidelines, or not even that, just some tips for you to get started on your craft project. So I will show you now all the different things that you can do just using some random accessories that I have. The first one being this. This is just if you've got some favourite go-to accessories that you use. You could even obviously stick this on your bathroom cabinet or obviously anywhere that's an easy accessible place for you. Um, these are just some earrings that I bought, I think, for like $2. Um, this is from like a cheap store and they had like a lot of beading on the end, which ultimately made my ears feel very, very heavy. So I just went ahead and cut that off and I've just left them as two little pieces. You can use little um, sections with the studs. If you have like go-to studs, you can put them in there. So I've just used this as an example of my go-to things. So this is what I would reach for on a weekly basis. And obviously I know that each thing is, should be in here. So the next one we will do would be bracelets. So you can have the bracelets any way that you want. Obviously I've just used some that I had on my wrist. Um, you can set them accordingly. You can put heavier ones in there. Um, the depth of it obviously is what limits you, but as I said, you can use it for anything. It doesn't just have to be your smaller accessories. Um, if you wanted to do necklaces, but you were scared of having them clumped up, what I would suggest is just, for example, grab this necklace and just keep it lengthways like that and have a little bit hanging off the side so it's just a go-to lift it up. That's obviously if they're very um, easily tangled. I would just usually, for mine, wrap it around my hand like this and then just place it into the little egg cup like that. Um, because it's obviously soft fabric, it's not going to like roll around a lot and if it does, it'll stay within its little di um, perimeter. So you shouldn't have any worries about it knocking. No, not today. Um, but yeah, it is up to you. This is very simple, very basic. I wouldn't normally, to be honest, use these colours, um, but this is just a spare fabric that I had at the time. You could use leopard print if you're more of a pink girl. You can use that. It's up to you. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to quickly let you guys um, know that I actually took the blue after much contemplation off the inner parts of it and I actually put it onto the face. I just really wasn't happy with how it was looking, even though, like I did say, it was an example. Um, I'd much rather the design how it is now. So as you can see, I've also mixed in my bracelets with my earrings. Um, it's up to you however you want to do that. So that is it. That is how you can use a simple egg carton, very inexpensive, and turn it into an accessory holder. Obviously, there are so many organizational tools out there that you can um, use to organize your accessories. This is just something to do, especially if you're on a really tight budget, or whether you know you're just bored, it's school holidays, and you want to do something. However old you are, however crafty you are, this does not require a lot of anything. So, there you have it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know, and of course, be sure to check out my blog for more details on this and many more other things. Uh, the link will be in the description bar below. Okay, until next time, guys. Bye.